Hi, this is Nick from graphicdesignemployment.com and this is a, a video a demonstration uh, showing one of many ways to approach cutting out hair in Photoshop. Now, I've picked an image here that's uh, just about as uh, nightmarish as I could find. Uh, it's got a complicated background uh, which is multicolored um, and that works against us. In our favor though, uh, the hair is quite dark so the contrast is still is already uh, quite strong between the hair and the background image. We're going to identify areas of real contrast in the RGB channels, uh, take advantage of those. We're going to block in areas that we want to keep with white and areas we want to get rid of with black and then we're going to use the dodge and burn tools to create more contrast in the areas of detail and then the sponge tool will uh, help us desaturate any residual colors left over. So uh, that's uh, broadly what's going to happen and let's get started by uh, first of all checking out the channels. If you click on the channels tab here and click on the red, green and blue channels in turn you'll see that different channels have different areas of high contrast. So the red um, channel has uh, is really works well down here because there's an a area of white here and against the dark of the hair, whereas if we go to green, you can see some of the background creeping in, but on the green, in the mid-range up here, it's slightly better, and on the blue, at the top it's good, at the bottom it's absolutely awful. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy these channels and make layers of them, and then delete the areas that are of, of poor contrast keep the areas of high contrast and then merge the result and that will be our starting point. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy each one of these channels, red, green and blue channels. Uh, I'm then going to select each one in turn, go select all, copy it, click on the layers palette and paste it in as a new layer. So create new layer and paste Then go back the next copy, select all, copy, new layer, paste. And finally the blue channel, copy, back to the layers, create new layer and paste. The next thing is to uh, look at each one of these in turn. I'm going to turn off the background for the moment. I'm going to create um, a new layer and fill it with white so we don't get any interference from the background. Something to work on. Right, so the first thing is to click the first layer, this happens to be the red copy, and click on the Add Layer Mask button at the bottom, and then use the Rectangular Marquee tool, first of all, to delete everything we don't want there. And uh, that, that gets rid of an enormous area at the top. Now I'm going to select uh, a brush tool, the eraser tool, and uh, just erase the rest of the uh, areas of poor contrast around the edges of the hair. So that's fine, we'll keep that. Okay, so the next layer, I'm going to turn on, again add a new layer mask, and I'm going to delete everything down at the bottom, you can now see the layer we've just worked on showing through there. So it gives us a guide uh, that shows us how, how we're getting on. So I'm going to delete some of the poor areas of contrast here. So very quickly you'll see that we're starting to build up um, areas of, of high contrast around the edges. Let's see, let's turn that off. I'm going to get rid of these areas up here. Okay. And finally, the uh, blue copy. I'm going to turn that on. Click the mask. I'll turn the other two off for now. Obviously, this area down here is pretty poor. So we can turn this on now and see what we're doing. Now, the problem here is 
none of the channels uh, were particularly strong in this top left corner. So what I don't, obviously don't want to do is start deleting um, the hair, so we'll, we'll work on this in other ways. Uh, but uh, for now, we'll just get rid of um, the outer areas and get as close as we can to the hair. Gonna have to paint that back in on one of the channels, probably the. Let's have another look at these. So in this area up here, the strongest one is probably the green channel. So I'm going to paint back in some of the green channel that I deleted. So that would be the middle one. Because that detail is going to be needed. Okay. So that's where we are. So already we've got rid of quite a lot of this nasty complicated background. On each channel. So I'm not worried about areas like this for now. So if we zoom out you'll see um, that we've got rid of quite a large area that we don't want. So the next thing to do is uh, to merge the resulting layers. And um, before I work destructively like that, when I say destructively, I mean um, whenever you merge or flatten any layers or images, you're, you're getting rid of any workings in progress. And I want to keep these in case I need to come back to them. <clears throat> so I'm going to select all of them. And I'm going to uh, create a group from those layers. So if you click on the little submenu here, new group from layers, call it group one. I'm going to duplicate that group, hide the one beneath it, and I'm going to merge group. Okay, so now we have a flat uh, image. Now, as you could see, when I turn this white background off, um, it's actually transparent around the edges. We want it to be a, a solid, flat layer, so I'm going to merge that with the white layer. So now we have a completely flat image. And the next thing I'm going to do is invert this, because when we're working on the channel, the areas of white want to be kept, and the areas of dark we want to get rid of. And here, that's the other way around, apart from the face. So we're going to go Image, Adjustments, Invert. Now you can really clearly see some of the areas we're going to have to get rid of around the edges, but that's uh, it's a pretty good start. So the next thing is to start to block in areas of white and black. Um, areas of white we want to keep, areas of black around the edges we want to get rid of. So I'm going to create two new layers. I'm going to brush white onto one layer and black onto another. And that's just so that, uh, again, working safely, we don't accidentally go over any areas we actually want to keep or delete. So I'm just going to zoom in and just uh, with quite a small brush, just paint in the areas that I know we're going to want to delete without encroaching too much on the detail of the hair. Now, some of these hairs the really fine hairs are going to be sacrificed in this process um, really without uh, working on every single stray hair it's very difficult not to make sacrifices like that um, so we're just going to start that process now but as much as possible we want to keep some of the fine hair because the more you do keep the more realistic the result if you want to check your progress at any stage, just have a look at the original image and make sure you're not going over anything too important.
The next thing, now that the, the rough areas of black have been blocked in, I'm going to do the same with the white. So selecting the this layer here, which I'm going to uh, make the white layer, uh, and using the lasso, it'd be probably better to work on the actual image so you make sure you don't go over any areas that are going to be blended like this. I'm going to very broadly start marking the areas that I want to keep. And just areas of solid hair. I'm not going to go over any areas that need to be blended in any way with the background. Okay, so now I've done a, a very rough selection. I'm going to fill that with white. Okay, um, and next uh, there are obviously areas of hair that have been missed, and and probably a good thing to do at this point would be to select a soft brush, not too big, to make it white, and just paint slightly smaller than that, around uh, the edges of this. 